Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will do another example related to data binding so your concept will get crystal clear. So first thing is we'll create a lightning web component and we will call it as employee detail. This is the name of my lightning web component. Employee detail example and this is the default directory. So what will happen is it will create a lightning web component under this LWC folder. And this is open a .js file. Let's go ahead and uh, divide the screen into two. So first thing is we will use the lightning card again because it makes it a little bit nicer. Title of my card is employee info. And inside of this lightning card, I will create a div tag, use the div tag and the class is equals to and inside of my div tag, I will go ahead and display employee name and the property value would be store coming from the name. Then next is employee age and the property value will come from age. And the next one we have is employee salary and the value will come from salary so this is our div tag that we've created and uh, now we will use input boxes so i'm using lightning input and inside of this input the first input box will be for enter the name and the value will be stored in the name property and I'm adding a on change handler here. So whenever the value of this input box changes, name handler will be called and which we will describe inside of our JavaScript file. And then we are going to close our lightning input tag. So now we will go ahead and copy this two more times. So we'll create another input box for salary and another one for age. So this is going to be enter age. And the value would be stored in the age and we will call a handler called age handler. Similarly, enter salary. The property would be, the value would be stored in this property called salary, which we have not defined yet. And the handler will call it as salary handler. So anytime the input box value changes, this salary handler would be called. Now, where are these properties going to be defined? So we'll mark these properties as reactive. So we have to go ahead and import this track decorator. And then we are going to inside of our class, we are going to create three trackable properties. The first one we have is the name. The second one, we'll call it as the age. And the third property, we'll call it as the salary. Now we need to define our handlers. So the first handler is the name handler. It will have the event parameter and whatever we retrieved from the event. So in order to retrieve is we have to say event.target.value, whatever we retrieved, we will store this in this dot of name property. So what's happening is whatever you typed it in the name input box that will be stored in this name property similarly we'll copy this two more time here one is for the age and the other one is for the salary so the second one we'll call it as the age handler and the third one we'll call it as the salary handler so this will store the age and this will store the salary very simple so what will happen here is we have three input boxes. One is for the name. One is for the second one we have is for the age. And the third one we have is for the salary. So these are the three input boxes. So whatever you type in the name will be stored in the name property. Whatever you type in the age will be stored in the age property. And whatever you type in the salary will be stored in the salary property. And then you have a you're going to display all these three things up here. So anytime you change it, it will reflect on, if you change the name, it will reflect here. If you change the age, it will reflect here. If you change the salary, it will reflect here. 
So you have created a handler for name, you have created this handler. For age, you have created this handler and for salary, you have created this handler. And your, whatever you retrieved, we are past storing it in the name property. Whatever you retrieved from the age handler, we are storing in the age property and whatever you have retrieved from the salary, you are going to store in the salary property. Since these properties are trackable, it will you will be able to it will re-render the page and you will get the new the new properties will new property value will be reflected on the page as well. So let's go ahead and see this component in action. First, we'll go ahead and push the changes. So we'll open the command palette again. Before we do that, we need to set this is exposed to true, and then we also need to set up the targets. This is very, very important. If you do not set up the targets, that component will not be available to be added on either of those pages. Okay, so if you wanted to make it available on home page, you have to set the target first. So the target, it's called lightning underscore home page. This is our first target. Lightning underscore record page. And the third one would be the app page. Let's go ahead and push the changes. So pushing is done. Now we're going to go back to our default org and let's go ahead and edit the page. And let's go ahead and add, it our, add our component. The component is employee detail example. Let's go ahead and add it under here. And then hit the save button go back and now that should reflect on this page you can see here first is the employee name so enter the name so when you say the pika it gets reflected up there enter age 29 enter salary 150k okay so this gets deployed here now once you make more changes, it will show up on the here. So because it is properties are trackable, we are using the track decorator. So anytime you make a change, it automatically will reflect wherever you are using that property. So it's going to re-render. So this is another example related to data binding.